Choi tonight. For the past couple of years, I have criticized President Bush for not confronting the irresponsible media, which continues to viciously attack him. You don't take it personally? No, I don't. Because they are trying to destroy you. You know that. Well, it's, it's too bad. Uh, and I think most Americans don't want to see the president destroyed. I think most Americans want this country to come together and work for the common good. I, I, I suspect a lot of Americans are sick and tired of Washington politics. Joining us now from Washington with reaction, former Bush advisor and current Fox News analyst Carl Rove. All right, let's take um, my criticism of President Bush. You, you were out of there, I guess, almost at the time I started criticizing President Bush for not going after his critics, and now the critics are running wild. So wasn't I right? Well, uh, it's funny you should mention this. I literally today was working on a book that's coming out on Simon & Schuster, and I'm writing about this very issue. And I do think in retrospect there are moments when we should have defended more fervently the administration's policies and gone specifically after our critics. This, however, torture and enhanced interrogation is not one of them because the administration did a good job of rebutting the challenge, the charges of torture and keeping the enhanced interrogation techniques in place. Uh, we fought back amendments in Congress in 2005, 2006, 2007. Uh, it, it took a new president who unilaterally removed the legal authority and ended these enhanced interrogation techniques. The Bush administration did a pretty good job of defending them through January 20th of this year. Okay, but the six men that I mentioned were never mentioned by your administration, and they are doing an enormous amount of damage to the country. Would you admit that they are doing damage to the country? Well, absolutely. In fact, uh, I, I, look, I, I think there has been a concerted effort by many on the left in order to change the fundamental fabric of America, and they see this as an opportunity to, to uh, further that goal. And uh, I don't say they're unpatriotic. They just have a different, well, different well, well, definition let me stop you of what there. they they're want not, America to be. They're not unpatriotic? When, when you're well, going to have I, pictures being released in the next few days of investig Kim, criminal investigations into wrongdoing yeah. by Americans, which happened? And they're going to flood yeah. all over the world. Well, who's going to be in danger there? That's going to heighten the danger for every American troop overseas, mm -hmm. every American diplomat, and every American tourist. And you're saying these men aren't unpatriotic, Mr. Rove? I'm not saying I, they're not doing this because they're uh, unpatriotic. They're doing this because they want to achieve a goal for America that I fundamentally disagree with. You, you talk about putting people in danger. The president of the United States, Barack Obama, already put American military in danger by ending these enhanced interrogation techniques and limiting everybody, including the CIA, to the techniques in the Army Field Manual, which generally consists of, will you give me your name, address, uh, telephone number, and you would you like two sugars or one and with your coffee? That's the limit of what we're doing. Okay, so we've already okay. got a president. Oh, listen. So I don't say that he's unpatriotic. I say he's mistaken. He has made a huge error. He's putting American lives at risk. And these other men that you talked about, you're right. They're joining with him in doing that. No, no, no. There's a difference. They, 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 there's a difference. Look, you can debate President Obama's policy. He believes that by doing all of this, uh, ending all of your policies, that a, the world will like us better and more cooperative with us. You can debate that. I, I agree with you. I, I, I don't think it, I think it, it heightens the danger. But... It's, it's theoretical. The other thing isn't theoretical, Mr. Rowe. When you see those pictures on the front page of the New York Times and leading the newscasts on NBC, whether it's tomorrow or a week from today, the whole world is going to go, look at America. Look how bad they are. This is criminal activity that took place. You could use a picture from any criminal investigation. You could use a picture of these kids getting killed by their parents and whip it around the country and the world and say, look at this. It's the same thing. The ACLU knows wh how this is going to be used by the jihadists and people who hate us. They know. They don't care. So there's a difference between Obama and his well, policy and these people mm -hmm. actively putting our troops in danger. There's a difference. I, 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 I'm not certain I agree with you that there's a difference because President Obama, part of the reason that he ended the enhanced interrogation techniques, read his statement. He says this is going to improve our image around the world. He thought that this would somehow make us look better. And in reality, what it did was it confirmed, at least in the Islamic world, oh, America understands that it was doing the wrong thing and, it was, and America is a bad country. It ended up in the same place. Now, I think we let's let's not get stuck there because I think we're both in agreement whether it was President Obama ending the enhanced interrogation techniques or the ACLU and all the rest of these people pushing for the release of these photographs that were, as you pointed out, for a criminal investigation in order to charge U.S. military right. personnel in order violating to do the, the law, right thing. They were yeah, taken in to, order to do the right, right. thing, and now they're going exactly. to be used against us. In, in either instance, 
these people are doing the wrong thing for America. They are doing the wrong thing for our country. They're doing the wrong thing for our men and women in uniform, and they're making us less okay, safe. Okay, but the, me only the, the only media challenging them on a national level are the Wall Street Journal and the Fox News Channel. That's it. The rest of the media sympathize with these people, which is why there isn't an outcry. What did you think when you saw that cartoon in the New York Times yesterday of the Statue of Liberty with a whip? What did you think of that? I thought Pinch Sulzberger was right to, uh, to worry about why he had to sell his building and his stock is in the toilet. And I'm glad it is. But weren't you offended as an American of oh, that? Oh, sure I was. I mean, Absolutely. that is just the Absolutely. lowest. Look, 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 look. I'm from Texas. I mean, you, you take a New York liberal. I met this guy, a little Pinch Sulzberger. He is an elitist, effete snob who thinks he knows better than the rest of America and has views that are distinctly outside the mainstream of what America is all about. He probably thought that was a damn fine cartoon to be running and was proud of it. I thought it was a typical in keeping with the editorial policy of the New York Times, which is despicably to the left of American politics and out of touch with American values. All right. Mr. Rupp, thanks very much. We appreciate it. Next on the right.